Comparing decimals to hundreds using visual models. We learned earlier how to compare fractions using area models and the number line. In this lesson, we are going to compare decimals using these models. Let's take the two decimal numbers, 12 hundredths and 8 hundredths, and compare them. To do that, we start by representing each number using area models. Notice that both numbers have decimals to the hundredths. This means we should divide each area model into 100 equal parts. But for the first decimal number, 12 hundredths, we will shade 12 small parts because the number 12 hundredths represent 12 parts out of a total of 100. And for the second decimal number, 8 hundredths, we will shade 8 small parts because the number 8 hundredths represent 8 parts out of a total of 100. Now, look at the area models. What do you see? Notice that the decimal number 12 hundredths represents more shaded parts than the decimal number 8 hundredths. So, the decimal 12 hundredths is greater than 8 hundredths, and we use the greater than symbol to state that it is greater. Remember that the open side of the greater than symbol should be at the larger number. Also, we can represent these two decimal fractions on the number line. Here is 12 hundredths. And here is 8 hundredths, as shown. As you know, the number located further to the right has the largest value. So again, 12 hundredths is greater than 8 hundredths. As another example, let us compare the two decimal numbers 57 hundredths and 62 hundredths. Here is the area model that represents 57 hundredths. And this one represents the number 62 hundredths. Which one has more shaded parts? Notice that this one representing the decimal 57 hundredths has less shaded parts. So, we can use the less than sign as shown and read it as 57 hundredths is less than 62 hundredths. Again, we can represent these two decimal fractions on the number line. Here is 57 hundredths and here is 62 hundredths. So, the number 57 hundredths is less than the number 62 hundredths. In this lesson, you learned how to compare decimals to hundredths using visual models.